Hey Chiefs, this is Ryan again on your national news. In Edna, Texas, the Ortiz family just lost five of their children from ages 6 to 15 from a house fire. A local casket maker by the name of Trey Gannon volunteered to make and design the five caskets for free and to the likes of each child. Here in Missouri, the Ferguson riots have claimed yet another life. 32-year-old Zimmer Begich was beaten to death with hammers. Begich was approached at a stoplight and was surrounded by a pack of teens. They then proceeded to beat his car. Begich then got out of the car and requested them to stop. Moments later, he was dead. That's all for me. I'm Brian, and now over to local news with Maverick. Thanks, Ryan. So lately, some big stuff has been happening here locally. After 48 years, Ned Reynolds has finally retired from sportscasting at KY3. The mayor of Springfield has made December 1st National Ned Reynolds Day. On another note, at Parkview High School, there is a gun found by a police in a student's car. The gun was not loaded and no one was harmed, but the student was still taken into custody. Another high school incident that happened, Ashgrove teacher Nate Harrington was found guilty of having a sexual relationship with a student. He used Twitter to communicate with a 16-year-old girl. He had requested naked pictures from her and other sexual requests. This teacher has not yet been charged criminally, but can no longer have an educational job. That's all for your local news. I'm Maverick McGee. Now on to Ricky with your sports update. In the sports world, NFL playoffs will begin very soon. This year, the standings are unbelievably close. In the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals, Green Bay Packers, and Philadelphia Eagles are all 9-3, with the Cardinals slightly ahead. In the AFC, the New England Patriots and Denver Broncos are 9-3 as well, with the Patriots in the number one spot with their win over Denver. In the NBA, the 76ers got their first win this week after starting 0-17. The Sprint Cup is very popular right now. Kevin Harvick is in first place, which is one point separating him from the second place spot. Let's see if Harvick can hold his place. That's all for your Chief TV update. I'm Ricky Mayer. Stay classy, Chief. 